Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you item or take effects in Reaper. So I have a project in front of me here with a drum loop and some strings. And it sounds like this. As you probably already know, if you want to add effects to your tracks, we go up here to the track control panel and hit the effects button. That opens up the effects browser where we can add effects to our tracks. But we could also add effects to our items. Let's select this item here, go to the item menu, and go down here to take and choose show effects chain for active take. We could also do it by right clicking the item, go to take, and choose that menu option over here. Or the quickest way is using the keyboard shortcut right here. Shift E. Hit that keyboard shortcut, and the effects browser opens up where we can add effects just to that item. Let's add an EQ to that drum loop right here, re EQ. And here's the effect that's now on this item. Let's turn it into a low pass filter. But if you notice, when the song played past this item, the effect turned off. Because that effect is only on this item. If we want to copy it to this item as well, we can just drag it and drop it from here at the effects button to this item. And now it's on this item as well. Now we could change it to something completely different. Let's switch it to a high pass. So now we have two different effects on each item on this track. And then back to no effects on this item. Now we can move our effects to the track instead. Let's delete this one, alt on the PC, option on the Mac, and just drag this one to our track. And now the effect is on the track as well, but it's still on the item. If you want to delete it from the item, alt on the PC, option on the Mac, we can just delete it right here at the button. Now it's no longer on the item, but it's just on the track. We could have moved it just using a modifier. If we hold down Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac and just drag it from here to here, it moves it to the track effects and it's no longer on the item effects. So we can move it quite easily with that modifier. Let's put it back on the item. Now let's copy it again to this item. And again, we could change it very easily. To a high pass. And one of the nice things about adding it to items is we can crossfade the effect from one item to another because these two are different. Just trim this back over to here. Now the effect on this item is going to crossfade to the effect on this item, like this. So 
So by doing it this way, we avoided using automation. We cross-faded the different parameters on the two EQs, which we can see right here to create a dynamic effect. If we want to copy this effect from the loop to the strings, just drag and drop it the same way. And now that effect is on the strings as well. But it's different over here. So if we want to recreate it, just split our items, one here and one here, delete the effect right here, and drag and drop this one over to here. And by splitting the effect, we can create different effects for different parts of our track. Again, making it easier to avoid using automation. Now, because this effect is a take effect, we can actually have different effects on each take. Let's duplicate this loop right here. Duplicate active take. And we can add a different effect for each one of these takes. Let's make this one a high pass. Now we can switch back and forth and decide which effect we prefer just by switching our takes. By clicking them, or hitting T on a computer keyboard. So it's very flexible to add different effects to our items and also to our takes. So that's pretty much it. That's item or take effects in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.